world at peace. By the grace and watchful eye of Zeus, Argos has once again become the jewel of the Aegean. For more than five years, the kingdom has blossomed under the benevolent hand of King Perseus and Andromeda. Can you smell it? Even all the way up here? Yes. The crocus carries on a westerly wind. Westerly winds. Hera calls them the winds of change. The westerlies are a good omen, yes? Indeed. Zephyrus has a soft touch. Like you, my dearest. You are an atrocious liar. Liar? You, my lovely Andromeda, are the herald of the coming spring. You hold the entire world in your belly. And in one moon hence, Aphrodite herself shall weep in jealousy over the gift you bring into the world. Isn't that right, my little prince? Or princess. Soon, my friends, a new face will grace the halls of Olympus. A grandchild whom I shall decide to give dominion over the pathetic mortal creatures. Let us prepare and give the child of Perseus a heavenly welcome. Now go, and they best be gifts worthy of a prince of Olympus, else you might feel my thunderbolt scorching uncomfortable places. How long before this new prince of Olympus, this mortal, supplants us all? I have a plan, and this time it will work. I'm listening. Zeus will learn a lesson that reminds him that he is not the only deity on Olympus. Such lessons have a history of failure. Not if we convince Hades to wake the dead. Perseus is too sly to be taken by such a ruse. We must crush the will of Andromeda. Crushing the mother cripples the father. Cripple the father, humiliate the father of the gods, and I have the perfect pestle. The westerly winds, they are turning north. The dead shall walk, the beast shall rise. Awake, my son, hear our cries. Awake, my son, be thy sword of Ares. Awake, come hence, be thy hand of Zeus. Oh. Perseus, are you unwell? You look green. It's dying. Dying? God preserve us. Who is dying? Seraphos. I must go back. But the baby, it's almost... Mother calls. I will return before the birth, I swear. It was prophesied long ago that the king of Argos would be felled by the hand of his own grandson. In fear for his own life, but unwilling to kill a sire of Zeus, the king cast his daughter and the newly born child into the sea. For days, Denai and the infant Perseus drifted on the rough seas. Poseidon took pity on the pair and directed the current to a small island, Seraphos. Up for a little midnight ride, old friend. White light. Perseus takes to the sky upon his winged horse. Pegasus, gift from the gods. For a man is forever I cannot let my own son, this letting me a son, enter into the 